Yes, so this is going to be our first segment known as It's Wednesday, so it's Weird Beer Wednesday. I, right. I love that cut. That's very Letterman. We're like David Letterman. Out here. <laughs> it does feel very Letterman. All right, so it's dark, and I forgot my lucha glasses, but I do know what this is, and it's from our friends at the It's Fairweather Cider Company. And this one's called, let's get to the close-up gimmick here, Smell the Van. <laughs> this, is not, this is not Christmas at all. This what, is, is, what is the smell of the van supposed to be? We are about to find out, because I have no idea. The print is very small. Uh, it looks like it's about... I can do the ceremonial reading. Yeah, it's about 5.5% alcohol. We're looking at 100 calories. So that is a bad. low calorie beer. It is a low cal beer. So, but, and we're about to see what the smell of the van is. We're, let's hear what the van is first. Oh, that actually changed the light. Shifted the light so you know All it's right, quality. So that's a good pop. All right, let's see. Do we want to do this? The close up always ends up over the laptop, it's always terrifying. No pressure. Don't you know how to use your no laptop pressure. sideways? You know, there is a slim chance that this is a cider. Full disclosure. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of head there. And that tells me it's going to be cider. Well, I mean, that's what you drink in the van is yeah. cider, obviously. We're going to drink some cider in a van down by the river. All right. In turn, stay home from school music. Here we go. Ha. I don't even know what to say here because... You're just literally just walking it over, so there's nothing to describe. Okay, this weird beer is called Smell the Van. Fairweather Cider Company. It definitely is a cider because it says cider on the can. Oh, it does say it on there. Okay, but it's got... Uh, I thought it was just a cider company. It's got some essence of peach and looks like a rabbit foot. Rabbit's foot? <laughs> 100 calories, dry sitter with gin botanicals. Fairweather Cider Company, 5%. All right, government warning, you know, all that stuff. All right. Ready? Salute. Smell the van. Here we go. This van smells good. Thought I'd, words I'd never thought I'd utter. It's a little funky. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little, it's refreshing. It's definitely cider, but it's not like a sweet cider. It's, inter it's interesting because I was actually having a drink of one of these earlier from last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, the rainbow sherbet? The rainbow sherbets. Mm -hmm. And it tastes very similar. Yeah, they thought it was the same, like, same crew, right? This one is actually, I can do a taste test, a live taste test, because the rainbow sherbet is a little less tart. It's got a little less tart flavor. Wow. Yeah, I, Rainbow Sherbet was one of my favorites. But the smell of the van is a little funkier. I think that's why it's called smell of the van. Because yeah, it's got a little Because bit the van more. is funky, right? Because like, yeah, you're so, in it for a long time. It's a, you know, if you're about that van life, it's hard to smell good because you're basically, that's where you live, right? Yeah. Did you ever see Nomad Land? Yeah. You got shit in the bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's rough to live in a van. Yeah, no. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. Anyway, this one has some, it's got some intense, intense flavors. I know that's not very, uh, you know, food showy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to MJF this brew and call it mid. It could be close mid. If it was summer, I'd call it mid to upper. But it's winter, and I guess we were expecting more of a dark, dark. You need a dark beer, you know, aged with goat milk, like that commercial said. Yeah, with spices and meat yeah, flavors. Yeah, so I thought that's what, you know, maybe I was expecting that. So, But I, I still like it. Uh, so I'd still give it a, I don't know, one. Well, should we do, che like, how many cheers do we give it? It's like one cheers or two cheers. Yeah, we'll just give it a cheer. All right, cool. That's, that's one down, uh, one to go. Now, this one is going to be the main event. A warning, this one is, this one's bad. And do I mean bad like bad or bad like good? I don't know. Stay tuned and you'll find out. Listen to this yodeler. 
Good thing we got the yodel music to entertain the people while you walk to the fridge. This was, I mean, this music had so much tension. When you heard this, it was intense, right? Yes. Because you were waiting for that mountain climber to possibly go off the top of the thing. The mountain. You know? Because you thought the price of a toaster was higher. <laughs> there was a lot of pressure. And you're, or there was already so much pressure because you were trying to maintain that you were sick. You know, and just like kind of keep your fever. But at the same time, you're eating a soggy tuna fish sandwich, hoping this guy doesn't fall over the ledge. So, yes. Yeah. I never faked sick. No? No, I never faked sick. But I think sometimes, I think my, my grandma just made up a rule sometimes. That like, you didn't have to go to school on Friday sometimes. <laughs> it's just a rule that she made up. That's a good rule. I like that rule. All right. Next up, we have from the infamous brewing company. This one is Bad Santa Coffee Stout. You can get a close up of that right there. That is an intense can. Yeah, this is this can is there's a lot going on. Like I'm this should be something that would be like, is this monster or is this some kind of like energy drink? But it's a coffee stout. Is this an oversized beer? Is that like a uh... Yeah, it's a big one. It is a big one, what we yeah. call, I mean, I don't know if that's a part of the metric system or if that's our cinema, but I, I'd call it a big one. I don't know what that is. It's got Santa coming, oh, I forgot, let's get a close-up of that. Santa is coming out of a chopper right there, and he's, and he's, and he's ripped to shreds. So let's give, it a, let's give it a pop. Let's give it a pop test of this infamous brewing company, Bad Santa Brew. What's up, JJ? JJ's on. There he is. <laughs> yes, it is. Dose Incredibles after dark. Yeah, we thought we'd give it a whirl and do it in the, the darkness. Like this beer. You need a dark beer. Age with goat milk. All right. You want the pour? Here's the pour. Oh, it's dark, dude. That is, a, is that a 16-ounce beer or is that like a... It looks red. It looks reddish. Uh, it's pretty dark. I mean, it's coffee. You definitely get in the coffee. What is the uh, alcohol content? You know, I'll read the alcohol content when you bring it yeah, up. Yeah, I don't actually because it is. Uh, let's see if it's. Sometimes it's easy to find, and sometimes not so much. Oh, it's a so it's a sixteen ounce. All right, uh, I'm gonna bring it over to you. Yodel along. Here I come. We are still accepting accepting applications for intern. Please submit a demo reel and a resume. As well as your high scores on certain video games, if you're good at video games. There we go. Oh, I like to have it on that ear. There we go. All right. So if you want to give the can, the can give it a little bit of that read gimmick there. Read, it up, read it up. Rogue American. Is this a, is this is this a Capital Stormer beer? I am a rogue American. Fight for the rights of every man. Okay, so let's see. Rogue American, 16 fluid ounces, so you get a pint of Santa, of bad Santa. Coffee Stout. What is this made by? It's got the name of the inventor on here and I can't read it. It's his autograph. Bad Santa blended is a smooth, low alcohol, low acidic, not low alcoholic, low acidic blend <laughs> with a nice, rich caramel and vanilla flavor with hints of macadamia nuts blended into Camacho's? Camacho's? Blended into Camacho. I'll, I'll eat the macadamia's nuts. I'm not eating Camacho's nuts. <laughs> blended into Camacho All American Stout, infamous brewing country. And in, it's Infamous Brewing and Invader Coffee. Invader. Oh, so it's a combo platter. All yeah, right. it's a. It's a. Yeah, it's a thing. Dude, it's a. It's like, I get the hints. I get the coffee, hands, but I also get there's like some kind of. There's and there's cocoa. I think there's some cocoa powder in there. I do smell. <laughs> God dang it! I never wanted to say this on YouTube, but I do smell those nuts. <laughs> Yeah, you smell them, right? You got a nose for nuts. Um, like, <laughs> it, I can. It smells like uh, Count Chocula cereal. It does. 
All right, I can't I can't take this sus suspense anymore. Salud. Here we go. Salud, JJ. I don't know if you have a if you brew if you got a brew in hand. Whoa, there's something weird about that one. Ouch. Wow. Wow. Isn't that weird? What's weird about it? I think I just drank a pretzel. It's got pretzels in it, I think. Yeah. There's whole whole pretzels. <laughs> but it tastes there's something weird about the flavor. It's very milky. <laughs> or is that the coffee that I'm taking? I don't know. I taste coffee, I taste pretzels, I taste macadamia nuts, and I think I taste sawdust. You know what? I think <laughs> this is one of those drinks that's been flooding the market that is made for you to drink on your lunch break. You think? This is this has such an intense co like it's 100% coffee smelling. You yeah. drink you're one of these, you're going to be smelling like you drank a coffee, not like you drank a Budweiser. That's true. That is very accurate. I mean, so I, I think this is another one, a lot like uh, you know, the Modelo's, that is made for folks to drink on their lunch break or on the way to work. Why not? If you've got one, have <laughs> yeah. a bad Santa on the way to work. <laughs> Camo drinks. You just hide in the hide in the uh, hide in the. We scent. don't judge. I'm just saying. No, no, we don't judge. It's what it's what folks. If if you're inclined to have a drink before work, bad Santa might be the one to do. So, yeah, I I think it'll be good. She's like, yeah, you literally. I'm gonna take another swig. So I legit feel like I'm in uh, I'm in a pub. <laughs> like that's pub beer. Is that even brewery beer or is that like straight up pub beer? This I mean I don't know, but this is it's it's thick. It's like yeah. I mean cuz I I think if you're like a pub beer drinker, you drink them really fast. And you're just like, you know, let's have another. And you just slam them. I don't, this is not slammable. No. It's like drinking oatmeal. And JJ just cut a Hennigan's, the no smell, no tell scotch. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's a product that people want. The no smell, no tell brew, right? Yeah. I think we'd do it. That's why people stick vodka in their butt. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> Heard you never heard of that thing? No. People, like like smuggling a little sifter or, or just like that's where they do the shot? No, you like drink vodka through your butt so you can get drunk immediately. <laughs> I, never, I never did it. It's just I never heard it. It was a trend back when kids were eating Tide Pods. They were drinking vodka in their butts. <laughs> oh, man. And then you wonder why Thanos is trying to snap us. <laughs> Doing butt shots. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was called butt chugging. Ah, oh, butt chugging. I did hear <laughs> I've heard the term butt chugging, but man, <laughs> this is like taking things to a whole new le a whole new level after dark. We're I don't think we can do a live butt test. <laughs> yeah, this is unsanctioned. <laughs> this is an unsanctioned live stream. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I saw uh, I would still I mean there hasn't been a like reviewing like I feel like I don't know, maybe we're too baby faced like I don't, I don't there there's ones that you clearly didn't like. There's a couple that you couldn't finish. Look, I know I sometimes I think we want to we don't I mean, look, we don't want to like trash anybody's creativity. Someone made this beer, you know. It might not be for everyone, you know. So we just give our honest review. You can always anybody out there free to try it. You should try it. I mean, we 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 went out and purchased these, you know. So I think you should do the same. If it sounds interesting, it might work for you. Here's the thing, too. It's like not only about just the, the taste, it's also a little bit about the experience. And I do enjoy, no matter what, even if there's one that I don't enjoy, it's more about the experience. But I would, dr I mean, I have no problem with that. Like if I was out, I would drink that. But you're going to need some, you're going to need some Vinny Chase Mentos, the fresh maker, or something after you're done. Yeah, no, this will give you like, you know, fifth period uh, science teacher breath. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when you ask for your help and then they lean over and you're like, never mind, I don't need your help anymore. <laughs> never mind, I'll fail. Yeah, I'd rather fail, but...